Suka. Today's legendary talk. We'll do some price prediction and technical analysis at the end. This is a money bag alert. You guys are not going to want to miss out. We're on the verge of attacking this all-time high that Suka had. But let's find out more about this Japanese dragon before we get to these price predictions and whatnot like that, right? So let's start off with their homepage and what they got to say about this Japanese lore destined the Japanese Suka dragon to breathe vast flames of wisdom and prosperity to all who embrace the ferocity and strength. It is the harbinger of abundance and wealth, all right? So then we got this right here. We got the Japanese Suka Dragon is combated by the knowing and revered by the lesser. It instills fear and terror in the hearts and minds of those who question. Seal your fate and fortune by harnessing the unrivaled power of the Japanese Suka Dragon, all right? So that's what they have on this website. I'll have all these official links down below where you guys can tap in on the description um if you're part of this community smash the like button subscribe you know share this um let's get the word out there and we got a pretty good video to make because these price predictions are going to be pretty epic if you ask me um come over here and give suka a follow of course we got 24,000 followers they just had an ama this morning come checking out uh come check it out listen to the recording let me know what you guys think about this project but this is a money bag alert regardless when it's going and it's pushing towards its all-time high that's something that you cannot just overlook it has a very strong community has been making a lot of noise in the space and for good reason we're hot number one token on um trending right now on dex tools and we're going towards those all-time highs so let me know what you guys think down below we're going to do some support and resistance really quick um and get everybody familiar with what we got going on so let's blow the chart up so let's scoot this over as well right let's go ahead and just get some lines out here right away just to kind of see what we got going on remember prior resistance is future support so that'll let you find the actual lines right so they, these were prior resistance there became a support so it's easy to find the, those actual lines where, where they matter right where they actually have some um where they coincide with another part of the chart it's very important to notice these things because sometimes support and resistance are put where they absolutely make no sense but this little trick right here this prior resistance future support um is something that kind of lets you know exactly the ones that the chart is respecting you're not being biased you're just noticing um the way it's moving right and we can do this again let's get our horizontal line out again right we see this resistance right here one second let's get that line out again so this was that resistance, right? We could have did it by the wick or by the body, but we see that it tapped right here. Resistance. Ooh. Resistance right here. Followed by it letting us know that we're not going underneath that support, right? So then we continue that, that pattern. Let's go ahead and just get the all-time high marked up there. Um, that price is at 16 cents. Right now we're cruising at 9 cents going towards that 10 cents obviously 10 cents is going to be that psychological barrier we already know that because um that's just how it works that's a, that's how humans work basically uh you know a dollar dollar fifty two dollars and so forth it, it could be a hundred 150 200 it just continues like that and those are those psychological barriers we're going to do the same thing with our support and resistance we can see this right right into these wicks we're going to put it right on that 10 cents mark that psychological barrier give or take it's right there it's close enough right so we got that resistance, right? We try to hold on to the support right here. It didn't happen. Let's get the resistance just so we can see what's going on. And like that, you guys can identify this, right? On any chart. And of course, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. But this was a resistance. We did break through. We never hold support. So that's why we broke down to the downside. Same thing over here. Uh, resistance. This is a resistance. We're going to find this right here. These two resistance. So right here, this is kind of like that false breakout to the top. We have this resistance that we're fighting right now. This is on the daily chart. We're going to go down on the time frames because it, it is very bullish right now, um, the way it's moving. But I just want to get everybody zoomed out and see the kind of progress that Suka has been doing. And the naysayers that, you know, even try to FUD this, even when market conditions were bad. Now we can see this really starting to pick up some steam and people starting to respect the name Suka for sure, right? So let's layer this chart up. Let's see what we got. Let's go down to the four hour chart, see what we have going on. Now that we have the base level of these support and resistance, have an idea of where we're going to be fighting to get through and where we need to make some support for the chart to look bullish. And basically, that's what traders are. You know, we're just looking for self-fulfilled prophecies that let us identify, okay, when it does this, then this happens, right? So it's just basically that's what's happening. So we want to get in where we fit in. And that is usually right here. So it's going to look something like this. It's going to look like a break up to the top, coming back down, right? Going right back up because prior resistance. 
becomes future support. So if you guys see this happening while the prices are pumping, you guys think it might come back down. This might be an indication that it's actually just making a support to let you know that now we're not going underneath that 10 cents mark, right? That's going to be that psychological barrier above that 10 cents. And you can kind of keep an eye on that by layering your charts. So now we're down by the, by the hour chart. Zoom back out a little bit, get an idea of what we're looking at. Um, once we get on top of there, we'll be able to see what, what we got going on, but we can see some resistance. Let's go ahead and layer this really quick. And we're going to add some indicators as well to kind of, um, help you guide, because just with support and resistance alone, that's not going to be enough to be able to tell you what's going on. So we're going to keep layering this. We see it's bullish momentum overall. There's a lot of hype going on around Suka. The word is going out and about. So now let's add these indicators, right? Let's start with the SAR. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got the SAR. Then we're going to add the MACD. Okay, and we'll start off with these. These are these are good right here. Let's zoom in. Let's even go to auto just to get it all set up for us. Right? Okay, now we can zoom in. So right now what we got on the 15 minute chart, we'll start back up a little bit higher. Let's start at the four just like we did. We see that we got the MACD in our favor. We got the SA dart, the SAR dots on the bottom, meaning that we have bullish momentum to the upside, right? When the dots are on the top, the trend has reversed. And they always say the trend is your friend. We also have the MACD indicating the same thing almost at the same time when the dots have flipped that we're going to have green candles, dark green candles mean bullish momentum, buying pressure. Light green candles mean the buying pressure is getting weaker. Same thing with the red ones. Dark, pre uh, dark red means selling pressure is high. Light red means it is low, okay? So right now we're gonna layer this chart and see what we got going on. When you see this pointing up like that, that little kink, that looks amazing right there. That is just epic. So now we're gonna continue. So now on the hour chart, we're still looking bullish. We got the dots on the bottom, but I am noticing, I'm gonna be transparent, that we got the dots starting to separate. Usually when the dots are very close, it lets us know that the trend is just starting and is very bullish. But when you start to see them separating, we can start to say that the momentum is starting to die out. But you want to coincide that with how the MACD is going about it as well, right? We want to see almost that light green candle to be like, okay, so it's actually doing that right now. Let's go down to the 30 minute chart and we can see that happening. We got the light green candles. We got the dots starting to separate. They did flip at one point on the 30 minute chart, but the chart just reversed. Like I said, the more these words get out, the more you guys smash these like buttons, the more you guys subscribe and leave some bullish comments down below that'll help the YouTube algorithm get these videos out. And on those tweets, the Twitter, I'm gonna get a tweet out after this video. Smash those tweets, retweet that, get the word out there because that's how things like this happen where the downtrend was about to hit and somehow it just turns around. Maybe somebody just found out about Suka. Maybe something that you just shilled literally got somebody right over the edge to go ahead and get a bag of Suka, right? We never know, but that could be that, um, that could be the case. So right now we're seeing this, you know, we're losing the buying pressure because we got light candles. They're also getting smaller. Volume is getting smaller. This is the 15 minute candle or the 15 minute chart. We keep layering this. Now we got the dots on the top. So this will let me know that potentially on this run, this is on the five minute, we're not going to break through this psychological barrier that it's going to kind of reset and catch his breath. That's what I like to say, right? It's going to catch his breath and might do it in a smaller channel up here, actually like right around here. There might be a small channel where it consolidates right up in here on the five minute chart. I don't like to trade on the five minute chart, or get in right there. It's a little bit harder, but we can see that there's potentially a, a, a little channel right here where we can build some momentum sideways trade in here to go break back towards the upside. Now, shilling the video, shilling the tweets, um, being active in the telegram is going to help things like that happen. Otherwise, I'll be honest, I would be looking for an entry anywhere in these ranges. So there's this one right here, which is at around uh, eight five cents right and then kind of looking down here where we've been making support for the longest we it's already identified to us that it won't go underneath this area so if anybody who buys in anytime you load up your bag not financial advice if you're doing your dca right sometimes people just do dca whenever when the price is going down uh if they look at the chart right now they do it later whenever no let's do it when it matters right let's do it on these levels right here let's do it on the support this is a good dca right here right? Dollar cost average. We can see the price going down. We got that red candle right there. Like I said, I'll be more, I will feel a lot more safer if I did it somewhere in this area down here. So that's that seven cents and two. So 72.52 is the number. We have a range right here at the 87.87. That could be an area, but to be safe, this is an area that Suka has been showing that it doesn't want to go underneath this no more. Obviously there's going to be some false breakouts or whatnot like that. But overall on the higher time frames, we've seen that it wants to hold on to that price point, right? We've seen that time and time again. 
where it's proved that right here it's hold, held 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 no matter what and this is a por an important area for it to prove itself because these were this is prior resistance here here and little false breakouts and whatnot right there so this is an area we're going to keep an eye on that 72 52 you don't want to miss out on this one like i said it's on its way to attack to all-time high so we're right in that same range where fomo can kick in people can you know start getting aping in some bags and for good reason this is a great community um i seen the the team that's kind of behind it right um of course you know it is tied to ryoshi we we heard the talks about that but the main people behind it some solid dudes i like what i'm seeing and this really has some potential so just keep an eye on these prices right here breaking past that that 10 cents is going to be that psychological barrier where it will send it to that last all-time high which is 16 cents which is kind of wild if you think about it because what if fomo just starts kicking in really crazy we see this at 50 cents we see it at a dollar. You guys let me know what price you think Suka can reach down below in the comments. And if you guys can't do that, continue to come back and experience the abundance of money with me. Until next time, you guys know what it is. Later.